In this video, we're going to finish up our rock ground material. Okay, so next, we're going to start to add some overall ground dirt to this. Uh, before I do that, though, I want, think I want to make a change here to this material blend. So one of the things that's really great about this material blend is that we can control on a per channel basis how uh, these different materials are affecting the channels. So for instance, if we come over here, I'm going to hit one on the keyboard uh, so that I can view all my channels. I'm going to take a look at my ambient occlusion, well, which I'm actually already looking at here in my 2D view. But if we scroll in, you can see that we do uh, get a nice blend of the two materials. So here you can see the ambient occlusion of the uh, ground, of the dirt ground, is being blended with the rock. But I'm not sure that I really like that uh, this blend amount. So what I'm going to do is come over to my ambient occlusion and I'm going to start to just uh, drop the opacity to this. Now notice that if I drop the opacity down, it's going to start to kind of darken this area. Uh, so I don't want to go too much with it, but I'm just going to uh, maybe set it at a value of around maybe 0.37 or so. Uh, because I do want you know this, these, uh, this kind of dirt area to just be a little bit more darker or occluded uh, than the rest. And so I think that gives me a better balance. Okay, so like I said, next we're going to start to add a dirt effect. So here, uh, I'm going to first add a material color blend node. And this is going to allow me to uh, blend a mask uh, onto my material. So here, we need to first set up our channels. So I'm going to disable diffuse, specular, glossiness, metallic, and I'm going to enable my uh, ambient occlusion, and my height is already enabled. So here I have my channels set up. So I need to first grab my material. So we'll plug this guy in here. And now I need a mask. So I'm going to utilize a, a mask generator to do this. So I'll do a search for dirt, and I'm going to use this dirt generator. Now, this dirt generator, uh, you can see here, it takes a couple different uh, pieces of information. So curvature, ambient occlusion, world space, or position. I'm only going to utilize curvature and ambient occlusion, and I already have that data. So uh, let's just plug these values in. So for instance, uh, let's do this. Let's actually just grab this ambient occlusion from our occlusion. So we'll just grab it here from our blend. Now for the actual curvature, I'm more uh, interested in the rock itself. So I'm just going to come over to my curve. And I could either use the curvature that I processed. Let's try this to start. Uh, so here, let's grab this guy and plug this here into my curvature. So I'll double click and I can start to view what this mask looks like. Um, let's kind of go with this for now. So here I'll hit three on the keyboard just to um, close up all my channels. And I'm going to take this mask and plug it into the grayscale mask input of my material color blend. And then I'm going to take my material color blend and just output this to my graph outputs. So here's what we have. Now I need to make some changes here. This, this went kind of berserk to start. So here with my material color blend, uh, let's come over here to our height and let's take the height opacity down. And next we're gonna come over to our base color and we need to set a base color. So here I'm just gonna grab kind of like a darker type value, maybe something like this. And I'm gonna set its blending mode to multiply. Now I'm going to just increase the value here now, actually, let me just go in and just work on picking this color. Let's try something like this, and then let's decrease the opacity. Okay, so, so far we're getting something like this. Now uh, we can go in and start to uh, make changes to our mask, and the changes are going to propagate to all of our channels now that we have this set up. So um, let's first come in and let's decrease our dirt level. So here you can see what that looks like. Let's increase our grunge amount and possibly our contrast. Okay, so this is starting to look okay. Let me decrease that uh, dirt amount, uh, dirt level. Well, let's increase it back up. We need a little bit more of this dirt level here. And let's decrease our contrast. Maybe just a little bit here, maybe close to 0.5. Okay, so here we can see uh, where you know that just adds uh, you know a bit more variation there to our overall color. Uh, also, I'll just turn my edge masking all the way up as well. 
And so next, we're going to start to add uh, a puddle material. Now, I'm going to start by creating a base material. So here, I'll just use base material. And let's set this up here. So for the uh, preset here, I'm going to set this to uh, a dielectric. Uh, let's drop our roughness depth value down pretty low. And uh, here for the color, I'm going to set this to a, a pretty dark color. Now, water is uh, kind of a weird case. Uh, you know, it's going to need some actual advanced rendering if you were doing water correctly. So, in the case of how we're going to be utilizing this, it's 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 going to be one of those you know whatever kind of feels right kind of thing, or or basically whatever kind of looks right. So here, I'm just going to choose kind of this darker value here, and you know, kind of breaking the rules a bit. But you know, again, like I said, this is a special case. So here, I'm going to use this, like I said, this dark value. And now I'm going to create a, a new material color blend node here. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, a material blend. And uh, let's set up our channels. So underneath our channels here, let's disable diffuse, uh, specular. Now we don't need glossiness. We don't need metallic, but we do want ambient occlusion. So now that we have this in place, uh, let's come over here and let's connect in um, our materials. So uh, the uh, material one, which is going to be our base, is going to be uh, this guy here that we've been working on. And then our water is going to be kind of like on top. And then we're going to blend this with a mask. And for the mask for now, let's grab the mask that we have for the dirt uh, that we're using here from uh, the histogram scan. So remember, that's kind of our control. So let's plug this guy here into the mask. Now, there's a couple settings we're going to need to change here. And uh, I'm already seeing an issue uh, that I forgot to address in the last video. Uh, so here, let me just check my channels here. So I'm hitting one on the keyboard, and I'm taking a look. So when we're blending, we, we have this ambient occlusion. And uh, however, on this material blend, on the last material color blend that we used, if I take a look at the ambient occlusion here, um, it's set to white, and so none of the ambient occlusion data uh, is being passed through. So let's see what happens uh, when now I try to utilize uh, my ambient occlusion here in my material blend, so the next one. So notice here we, we're going to have our uh, base color. Uh, here we'll have our normal. Uh, let's just go over here to our ambient occlusion, and you'll notice it's white. So now we're kind of passing this mistake uh, downstream. So what I need to do is let's look at this ambient occlusion. Let's uh, take a look at the actual uh, ambient occlusion uh, setting here. And we take this white value slider, and we need to drop this down. So now you can see that I'm able to uh, add in some of this ambient occlusion as it's being affected by this dirt. So this becomes my new ambient occlusion. And this is what I want to work with here. And now this is going to be passed to uh, the next material blend node. So now let's go in and take a look at uh, the ambient occlusion. And this is what we're getting here. OK, so let's do this. Uh, let's take this material blend where we're adding our water. And let's output this here to my channels. And uh, we're going to have some changes that we need to make here. So first, let me just kind of rotate my scene and move my light around. So you can see that we're starting to get some type of water effect here. Let me just rotate this guy around, put this in here. Uh, but like I said, we've got we to make some changes here to this. So let's select this. First off, it's it's the height is messed up. Here, I'm hitting one on the keyboard so I can take a look at my height. And uh, here's what I have. So it looks like this would be correct, but you can see that it's it's just like the, the dark value I have for the height for the water is just pushing everything down. And I don't really want that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just lower this opacity. So I can give it, you know, a little bit of value here, uh, but I'm um, not much. Here, let's let's maybe try something like this. Um, I think this will kind of work for me. So by utilizing some of the height, you know, again, it gives the effect that, you know, that this is kind of an area where water would actually collect. And that's cool. We want that. So um, now that we have that in place, let's now take a look at some of our other channels. So like I said, base color, this is going to be OK. Uh, our normal, we don't want any normal information uh, at this time for this. So I'm going to leave it like this. What I could do. Uh, for this guy is actually uh, pipe in like some normal information. Like if you wanted to put, I don't know, like maybe a little bit of kind of ripple like detail or something like that into this base material and you could pass it through that way. In my case, for what I'm doing here, I, I don't think I want to do that. So um, I don't know, maybe we'll experiment with it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it be for now. Uh, so our height is set. 
let's take a look at our ambient occlusion. So here, when I look at the ambient occlusion, you can see that, well, the water area, it's just, it's basically like white, but we are getting a kind of a cool effect where it's kind of dark around the edge. So it's dark around where the water's thin, and then here uh, where, you know, it's, it's really deep, you know, it's, it's not dark anymore. And so that's kind of one effect that I was wanting to do is have it kind of dark on the edge. Let's just mess around with this a little bit and see if I drop this value, uh, this is what we're kind of getting. So what I want to do is actually just keep this value all the way up. So I want that to be kind of dark on the edge and white here in the middle. So that's going to work for me for now. And uh, my roughness here. Let's, let's think about the roughness a bit. So here's, here's an idea of what we could do instead of utilizing that normal. So let me just kind of get uh, my viewport here and just rotate my light so we can kind of see you know, some of the reflection here from... Um, you know, from the actual uh, puddle. So here we go. We can see some of the cloud in this area. So I'm going to come back over here. Let me just collapse these channels because all of these wires are just driving me nuts. So, uh, okay, so here's the material color blend. Let's come over here to our roughness. And there's a control here that allows us just to add some grunge to this. So I'm just going to just dial in a little bit of grunge to this. And slightly increase my rough value. There we go. So back it off a little bit. Okay, let's zoom in. And so here you can see that right here on the water, I've just added a little bit of grunge. Let me just move my light around. Here you can start to see it in this area. So yeah, just adding a little bit of grunge to that. And you know, I think that's going to give me the, the, the effect that I want for this. So there, we were able to get that, you know, pretty much for free uh, in that case. Now, I think what I would probably do in this case, though, is want to have a control that basically gives me a separation for adding in my water versus my uh, my ground dirt. Because right now, like I said, it's being controlled uh, through this same histogram scan here. And I don't know if that's what we actually want to do. I think I want to separate this. So let's just grab this histogram scan. Let's copy and paste it. And let's bring it over here and let's pipe it in here like this. So now we just broke out that mass so that we can have a separate control. So now on this guy, let's say we go back and um, is it my position zero? Is that what uh, keeps my dirt? Let's see here. Yeah. So at position zero, we're getting rid of the ground dirt completely. And now I'm only kind of looking at this water effect, which is, which is pretty cool. That's what I was looking for. So now let's come back to this histogram scan and let's increase it. So we're going to increase some of the water. So here's what we're getting. And we can also increase our contrast. So for our water, we might want to increase our contrast a bit like this. So, you know, we can get some pretty cool effects by doing this here. So here, let's just add this guy in. And actually, I'm going to go back to that material color blend uh, to the height, and I'm going to drop it down. I'm not really sure. Actually, I'm just going to take it all the way down to zero. I, I don't really think that's giving me the, the effect that I want there for that. Um, okay, so uh, what we're getting here now is a control for our water. And if we wanted to, we could come in and we could add in now some ground dirt to that as well. So here I've just you know increased the position here just a little bit. And now I'm starting to add some of that ground dirt in. A little hard to see because you know the water's in the way. Uh, but here, if I just give it a little bit of value, There we go. So now I get a mix of both, which is pretty cool. OK, so this is going to complete our material. So now we just need to go through the process of just exposing our values here for this material. So let's see what we can start with here. Um, let me just come over to uh, my actual rocks here. And I'm going to actually expose uh, these parameters here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just click this button. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, this button here. And I'm going to use this expo expose parameters option. And this is a pretty cool option for allowing me to expose multiple parameters all at the same time. So here, I'm going to expose my surface type, my show striations, as well as the rotation. 
I'm also going to expose my shape parameters here so I can reuse these guys. And so here you can see I'm just going to just batch process basically all of my um, parameters. And so here, this is going to give me the identifier name. So with all these options checked, I'm just going to click OK. And that's going to expose all the values for me right to the root of the graph. And here we go. So now if I just double click out to the root, here we have our parameters. Here, let's just preview what we have. And you can see here that we have the parameters. So next, uh, let's come over to our histogram scan for our dirt. And uh, let's expose the range for this guy. So where is it? Here we go. And so what I'm going to do here is expose both position and contrast. So uh, let's click the Expose Parameters option, and uh, let's work with this here. So what I want to do is Position and Contrast. And so for my uh, group, I'm going to group this by saying uh, Ground Dirt. And in this guy, I'm going to put Ground Dirt as well. So here I have these guys in place. Let's, let's click OK to expose these. Let's double click to go to the root of their graph and uh, let's take a look at what we have. So we're going to preview these guys. So notice here we have our ground dirt and we have the ability to choose the uh, ground dirt position and contrast. Okay, so now we'll just back out of here and let's come over to uh, our water and let's do the same thing. So here I am going to uh, expose parameters and we want our position and our contrast and we're going to group these guys here. So let's say uh, uh, puddles and puddles for our contrast as well. All right, so we'll click OK. And so here we can go back to uh, our root level and we'll check our parameters. Let's come over here to the actual puddles and for the position, uh, I'm just gonna take this all the way to zero. So by default, I'm not gonna show uh, any of the puddles and let's come over here to our ground dirt and uh, let's just turn this all the way off as well. So again, by default, we won't show any of the ground dirt. So this here is gonna be uh, our default setup for our material. So now that I have this in place, I'll just uh, jump out of preview mode and when asked, I'm going to apply uh, these new settings as my defaults. And so that's gonna close us out here in this video. We've set up our material and we've exposed all of our parameters. And so now in the next video, uh, we're going to talk about actually publishing this substance.